Okay, so um, I've just added some UVs to this. Uh, see down there, I've just divided it into two. And if we're on the retopo unwrap option to uh, wrap it up. Uh, you might want to actually use a different program for that. That's not uh, done it very well in terms of uh, scales and such like. Um, so, we do a file, sorry, retopo, export, and uh, then we have the G4 top from Vox. Place it, yes. So to get into Poser, we need to um, scale it back down again. So I've just uh, given it a new name. I've clicked this to reduce. Same factor again. Convert. Done. And then in uh, Poser, I've imported it in. So I'm just going to delete this. Uh, this was just me testing to make sure it worked earlier. So when you do import it, it's going to be not fitted. There we go. See it somewhere around her knees. Uh, and if you look in 3D code, that's roughly its kind of position um, relative to the uh, ground plane anyway. So we've just got to move that around a bit. Uh, so just use your dials to move it up and down. Till it uh, fits into our model without any poke through. Start from the back. Ooh, awful. <coughs> so just adjust it until it gets to uh, the point you want it. So you've lost all your poke through. It's a bit awkward, um, but you just have to kind of persist until you're there. Oops. There we go. So that's where it should be about now. Yeah? Just going to parent that to the chest. Oops. And then, you know, if you want to, you can uh, add that to your props library. So you can reuse it straight away without having to do any refitting. Yep. Yes. Okay. So I can delete that. Add it from my library and it goes straight in there, straight where it should be. Okay. So you get the idea on that. And I'm going to stop this one, because that was just a short uh, interlude. The next bit we're going to do is uh, use 3D coat to create a, uh, a displacement map to add some detail. Okay. Okay, so we've exported our uh, mesh and scaled it and now we're going to add some details. So if you do file, import, you've got two main options uh, per pixel painting and micro vertex painting. These are slightly different um, and it's all to do with um, the level of 
uh, movement in the mesh you're going to get. You get more movement in a microvertex painting mode because it subdivides the mesh when you do it. Um, so you, you get more kind of variation across um, polys. And there's the per pixel painting which doesn't subdivide it, uh, which means you get less of a, um, a detail in there. Uh, but I'm going to go in for per pixel to start with. Now pick our exported one. You could do either or um, because all the UVs will be the same. Pick a, pick a texture uh, resolution. No subdivision, keep UV and no smoothing as usual. And hit OK. <coughs> so there's our uh, model in. And we're ready to uh, go to work now. Uh, now I'm just doing um, some bumps and uh, displacements here. I'm not uh, going to add some colour. Uh, so what I'm going to do first is put a couple of strips down here. Now this will be um, mirrored on the other side, just as soon as I turn that on. OK. Now, you can see there that those lines are going under the mesh. That's because there's not enough resolution in the points. So first I'm going to equalise, then I'm going to subdivide and that should sort that out. OK. So now it's a bit of experimentation time. I'm just going to hit enter. <laughs> and then spot the obvious mistake. So let's put some colour down there, which I wasn't intending. So I'm going to turn colour off, turn um, displacement on. And we'll see what that comes up with. There we go. So that's added a uh, slight but, uh, displacement across the whole map. But if we export that now, that should be usable in our uh, poser model. Uh, so where are we? Textures, export, displacement map. Uh, visible layers, zero level is grey, it's fine, hit OK. Uh, I've got one there that I was using earlier. Yes, I want to fill my things. I've no idea what that means, I'm sure somebody will tell me at some point in time. Right, so Imposer. Pick your thing. New node, 2D texture, image map and go and find where you've put it. Uh, okay, so for images only. It's got voxel displacement there. OK. And plug that into the displacement channel. Now, to make that render out, that's not an automatic option. You need to go render, settings, and uh, use displacement. That's off by default. I'll to turn it on. Uh, can save that. And I'll just pause while I render, and then you'll see what it looks like. So as you can see, that's rendered out, and that's a little bit extreme. <laughs> it's a lot further out than we expected it to be. Um, so in that case, what we're going to do is just dial this down. and do an, a re-render. I'll pause while I do that. As you can see then that's uh, much more subtle. Um, I've actually dialed it down to 0.004 to get it right. Uh, so that